Well, they call this their Christmas gift to the community, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has been delivering it to Greater Victoria for more than a quarter of a century now. The first Christmas nativity pageant brings the story that is more than 2,000 years in the making to Topaz Park beginning tonight. CTV's Andrew Johnson has a preview. Right now, it may not look like much, but tonight, Topaz Park will be transformed into ancient Bethlehem. One hundred volunteers make up the cast and crew of the first Christmas nativity pageant. And don't forget the animals who sometimes end up calling the shots. Sometimes Mary gets to ride the donkey. Depends what kind of mood the donkey's in, so the donkey dictates. <laughs> The production is now in its 26th year, and many of the costumed faces are familiar ones. Infants who have played the part of baby Jesus return years later for an encore performance. We've had a lot of the newborns grow up and take the part of Joseph or Mary. So you'll have Mary come down with the washing women. Leanne Jobert Sanderson has been here water. since the beginning, the late 1980s, and has watched the pageant grow from a curiosity into a Christmas tradition. It's a message that is uplifting, that is sweet, that encourages love. I mean, what better thing can you have at Christmas time? For the next three nights, these bleachers will be packed and folding chairs will fill the street. The nativity pageant is coming off its biggest year ever. Organizers say in 2011, 6,000 people took in their show. Why, in a manger. Leanne hopes you'll be reminded of the true spirit of Christmas, like a woman who approached her after last year's show. The pageant made her stop from all that chaos that she kind of had imposed upon herself, trying to meet all these various needs. And she said it made me stop and just feel the reason for the season. The story of the birth of Christ will play out at Topaz Park tonight through Sunday, every half hour between 6.30 and 8.30, and it's free. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Victoria.